evening all. It's uh, 18th of December 2021. It's Saturday night. That's right, Saturday night. So that's Hound Tour up there. So as you can see, we're on Dartmoor and uh, we're going for a nice Christmas wild camp. Um, it's quarter past four, so I've probably got, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes light left. But the plan is just to walk um, down to a well-known spot down here called Jay's Grave. And from there, we're going to cut across um, onto the open moor and uh, walk up in the direction of Hamildown. So I'm loaded up with uh, the MSR Hubba Hubba um, and I've got everything packed in my Savota Yukari which is uh, super comfortable pack to carry. Um, I'll give you a full run through of the kit that I've got when we get there. But um, I'm going to be navigating, particularly when it gets dark, I'm going to be navigating obviously with the map and compass um, and walking on a bearing and pacing. So um, I'll probably not film too much along the way just because I need to concentrate. Um, and particularly, as it's probably going to be dark, there won't be a huge amount to see anyway. So um, if I see anything interesting on the way, I'll stop and show you. Otherwise, the next time I see you might well be when we've reached uh, my chosen point and I stopped to get the tent up. But yeah, thanks for joining me. Uh, give us a like, give us a subscribe. Um, and thanks for watching. Okay, so that was Jay's Grave, which is my first um, point uh, on the map where I know I need to do something. And so we're leaving the road and uh, joining this track, which is basically gonna take us out onto the open moor. So just looking at the uh, weather out there on the moor, it's, uh, it looks really misty. Um, it's not too windy up here actually. Uh, the wind was really strong this morning, um, but I think it's died down quite a bit. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty misty up there, so I don't think there's going to be much uh, by way of scenes up there to see. It might be different in the morning. But yeah, so we're just going to follow this track um, down to the next gate, and then we should be out on the open moor. Okay, I've been walking about 20 minutes or so now. The light is pretty much gone. It's definitely past uh, past dusk. Um, and I tell you what, in this little track, it's almost like a little valley where I am. There's no wind and I'm sweating buckets. Um, I don't really want to take my hat off because uh, I don't want to get cold, but equally, I'm pretty hot. Um, I've got my Buffalo Special 6 shirt on with a, a thin merino, a montane merino base layer. And uh, yeah, it's super, super warm. Um, I mean, perfect kit for, for Dartmoor, but uh, when you're walking with a bit of a pace, carrying a reasonably heavy load, you get sweaty. 
so yeah you won't be able to see but we've got the open moor out here and that mist is really closing in bloody love it Dartmoor is just <laughs> absolutely awesome in this kind of weather but uh, yeah certainly nowhere near where we want to get to yet so I'll crack on crossed over the road, gone through the gate and we're out onto the open moor and straight away I've just got a chorus of male tawny owls in the woods behind me. Couldn't be any more perfect. Well, really close. Uh, love it. I haven't bought any of my photography, uh, my wildlife photography kit with me. Um, so I uh, won't be able to photograph any of them but for those of you that don't know that uh, sound is a male tawny owl the, uh, the male goes tweet tru um, and the female has more of a quick quick that's a really terrible impression of a female tawny owl but um, that is how you tell the difference so those are definitely males right so what we are going to do is follow the line. Um, we're going to handrail basically this uh, area of woodland um, until we get to the corner. As soon as we get to the corner, we're going to stop, take a bearing to the tour, and um, just have a look at how far it is to get there and uh, make a plan from that point. It's really lovely and still now, actually. Beautiful full moon by the looks of it. So if uh, if the clouds clear, we could have a pretty stunning night. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get cracking into the moor. All right, see you in a bit. All right, guys. So I've found the point on the map um, that I was aiming for. Um, you won't be able to see it, but um, there's a wall uh, running along here that I uh, I handrailed, and there's a very obvious um, corner just down here, um, and it's also the point where the path sort of splits away from the wall and heads straight up to uh, to Hamildown Tor. So um, yeah I'm completely confident that uh, I know where I am on the map and there's a very, you can see it on the map, there's a very recognised um, and well-worn um, path uh, that goes all the way up to Hamildown Tor. So I don't think I'm going to need to take a bearing um, visibility is pretty good despite the mist um, so yeah I'm just going to follow the path um, all the way up there and see if we can find someone to camp it's cloudy the moon is behind me behind the trees um, but yeah it's just me and the owls and I can see lots of sets of eyes glistening back at me um, which I presume is Dartmoor ponies. So it's just me and them. Won't be too many other people out here, I wouldn't have thought. Which is pretty ideal, really. So yeah, happy days. Um, the path is just right in front of me, so we're just going to follow that and uh, head up to the tour. So I'll uh, see you when we get there.
Oh, excuse me. Whew, blowing a gale up here and it suddenly got very cold. But here we go, here we are. We are at the uh, the Cairn and the Trig Point um, at the top of Hameldown Tor, which is exactly where I was aiming for. Um, it is very foggy up here. Um, I can barely see anything. So um, I'm gonna have a look around for a uh, decent place to pitch the tent. Um, the good thing is at least we're on top um, so we should find something flat and uh, yeah we'll get the tent up and uh, get a brew on Oh. Alright guys, welcome to the tent. So um, it's been up about an hour or so now. I just needed to get myself um, organised and uh, get a brew on. Uh, that said, the mist outside really came in. The wind seriously picked up and the temperature seriously dropped. Um, so uh, I think I got here and got it up just in time. Um, yeah, it's actually lovely and uh, and toasty in here at the moment. Um, the hubba hubba is ideal, I think, for this kind of uh, kind of camping. Um, it's not, I mean, it's not storm force winds by any stretch. Um, and uh, this is uh, well within this tent's capabilities. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's great. So you won't be able to see much, I guess, because it's dark. But um, in terms of my setup for uh, tonight, I've got a um, Thermo Rest um, sleeping mat, um, ridge line, uh, one of the uh, sort of the foam uh, foam mats. Um, I've got a Thermo Rest uh, Neo Air. Uh, inflatable mat on top of that and then I've got my snug pack special forces 2 sleeping bag um, which uh, which is yeah it's, it's a beautiful bit of kit that goes down to about minus seven um, comfort rating so that would be absolutely great tonight um, and I've got that inside a snug pack special forces Gore-Tex bivy um, just for an extra layer and also um, just to you know, just to sort of keep it dry if there's any condensation or anything at all. Um, so that is the sleep system. Um, currently, I'm sat here in uh, a uh, Yotner um, Thorn jacket, which is beautiful. All I've got under this is a um, uh, that thin montane base layer that I had on the way up, and I'm I'm just perfect and super tasty. So this is filled with um, a, a material called down tech which is their own um, sort of proprietary uh, goose down uh, product. So it's a, I think it's a 9010 um, mix. Um, it's a, a sort of like water repellent goose down as well. Um, so uh, this is the first time this has been out sort of in anger really and it's, uh, it's definitely definitely doing the job that I bought it for um, beautiful bit of kit and it weighs next to nothing um, which is uh, which is ideal um, don't know what else there is I can tell you really I've got um, got my MSR whisper light cooking stove um, as well as my pocket rocket 2 um, I'm using the um, the liquid um, to fuel the whisper light um, 
that is about it. Um, so uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the uh, that's the sleep system. Now, some of you may be wondering um, why I have uh, decided to come out to Dartmoor um, at night uh, and wander up here, and why I'm out here at all, um, and sort of what I'm what, what I'm doing really. Um, so I'm incredibly excited to be able to tell you that I recently um, passed selection for the Dartmoor search and rescue team which uh, I'm chuffed to bits about really really chuffed to get in um, it was pretty pretty tough we had an assessment day um, back in October um, and they uh, they only took half of us on they took five of us on um, and yeah I was in some pretty pretty good company actually some some ex uh, ex marines in there um, and uh, you know some some really well qualified um, guys so the fact that I got in I was chuffed to bits so yeah for the last sort of couple of months um, every Wednesday night has been spent uh, in the middle of Dartmoor at night um, training doing exercises so I'm a uh, I'm a trainee basically for um, the next 12 months uh, before I um, I sort of qualify proper and get my red jacket um, so yeah what, basically you know what I want to, to do is uh, familiarize myself as much as I possibly can with Dartmoor at night because that's when the majority um, of the corn outs happen you know you do get some during the day obviously you know in summer and what have you but the majority of the stuff is uh, is, is at night um, so uh, you know it's really important that I'm as comfortable uh, as I can be with my night navigation um, which is like a central skill um, that we you know we have to have so um, yeah that's why I'm up here and I'm, I'm you know really really chuffed a bit um, so there you know there's gonna be a lot more of this uh, sort of content on here so hopefully um, it's something that uh, that you find interesting um, yeah the other thing other things I've got planned um, I am going to sign up for uh, 2023's winter and summer um, fan dance which uh, if you guys um, don't know about the fan dance have a google it and, and, and have a look but basically it's a um, it's a it, it's it's an event run by ex uh, special forces guys and um, you, you 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 the event itself is um, following the uh, the route up Penny Fan and down Penny Fan and then back um, the the, uh, the SAS guys um, do on on selection um, so it's open to anybody um, and uh, yeah it's quite you know a bit of a challenge and, and something that I would um, love to uh, love to do so um, I'm gonna do that uh, it's sort of too late to do it uh, next year uh, but that's gonna give me something to uh, to, to, to focus on and get proper fit for so yeah happy days so there we are um i don't really have much else to tell you guys to be perfectly honest um you know i haven't really been doing much as as you know on the um the wildlife video front just been doing so many other things this year um that uh you know i just haven't had time to do everything but um, you know I've really enjoyed my spear fishing that I've been doing this summer um, so I'm going to be doing, you know, doing a fair bit more of that um, obviously spending more time out here on the moor and um, yeah just generally doing other things so that's what I'm up to just a bit of an explanation really as to why things have been a bit quiet um, you know, I really appreciate um, all of you guys watching and any of you that have subscribed and continue to watch um, you know, I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed and you're here for the first time, if you're still with me, I haven't bored you, um, please do consider subscribing. There's, you know, hopefully going to be lots of interesting stuff um, coming up. So, uh, yeah, that's me. Um, probably going to get into my sleeping bag in a minute and um, finish this coffee and uh, stick the radio on and see what the night brings. Hopefully, get some sleep. I don't think I'm going to be cold, that's for sure quite looking forward to it actually so yeah i will um see you guys in the morning thanks ever so much um 
here's hoping for a good night. See you later. Morning. Quarter past seven. So I woke up, I guess about five minutes ago, thinking it was probably the middle of the night still. So the fact it's quarter past seven means um, I slept pretty much through the whole night. Which is uh, pretty fantastic, really. I feel like I've had a good sleep. Um, lovely and tasty. Warm in my sleeping bag. I have to say, it's really, really lovely in here and I don't want to get out. I pulled my... Um, down jacket inside the sleeping bag with me just for an extra layer I think uh, it's a bit like being a kid again that gave me something something nice to uh, cuddle up to there's quite a bit of um, moisture inside the tent condensation um, but that's to be expected very cold outside and I'd have been pumping out a fair bit of hot air I should think but um, yeah it's not uh, not too bad so it's still dark outside obviously it's still windy I can really feel it um, well I can really hear it blowing out there but the tent has been Absolutely fantastic, really, really good. Yeah, a very, very pleasant night's sleep. I don't quite know um, why or how, but when I did wake up, um, I had a completely flat pillow. So I don't know how that uh, managed to empty out, but blew it back up again. So, I am going to make myself a nice cup of coffee. I've got my um, AeroPress Go with me, so uh, we're going to have some proper coffee. I think I'm just going to chill out, take it easy. Might have some breakfast here a bit later. Or I might go for a bit of a walk and have some breakfast somewhere en route. I need to go outside for a wee. So um, I shall put some clothes on and go and do that. But all in all, a good night. We'll wait and see what the viz is like when we get outside. See if that mist is cleared.
coffee. It is proper cold. It really is proper, proper cold. Expedition breakfast by Adventure Food. All beans and sausages from Wayfarer. They're both pretty good. I think on a morning like this though, I think I'd probably go for the beans and sausages. That was going to be my lunch. But I think I'll probably be back home by then. So if I do have something, I reckon I'll go with the hot, uh, hot version, beans and sausages. can drink this out of that cup I'm going to decant it into here just because I suspect oh, no, it's not too bad I thought there was going to be a bit of sediment in the bottom oh that's good cheers guys It's starting to get a bit, a uh, bit of light out there now. Um, still haven't got my boots on. I've got my little uh, tent, tent slippers on, which are great for when you need to nip out, and obviously you can keep your feet warm. Um, I slept with them actually. Um, yeah, they're a really, really uh, useful little purchase. Um, so yeah, I think we'll. Might have another coffee and then um, start tidying up, start squaring things away, get my boots on and um, go and have a look at where we are, see, uh, see what we can see. Okay, so we're all uh, packed up, um, everything's put away, got the pack ready to go, um, left no trace, literally cannot see a single sign that I was here, which is the main thing. So um, yeah, what we're going to do is I think just head back to the car, I was going to spend a day out with the camera, um, <laughs> see if I could take any decent shots, but uh, you can't see more than about 50 yards. So there's not really much hope of that. Um, so I'm going to take a bearing from where we are here back down to the path that we followed in. Um, we're actually on the part of the, the the path that we're on just up here is part of the Two Moors Way, but uh, that doesn't take us really down to uh, to where we want to go. So I think to get back to Hansel, the only thing we really want to do is follow the path um, that we uh, that we came in on. Um, so I'm pretty confident I know 
where that is, but I'm going to take a bearing anyway. Um, and follow that just to be sure. Okay, got my bearing. I know that it's 300 meters, so that's going to be 180 paces. Uh, there or thereabouts. Well, it should be exactly 300 and, uh, 180 paces because it's exactly 300 meters. Um, but as I found coming up uh, yesterday, you might have to go around a couple of uh, couple of rocks. But uh, basically, when we get down there, we'll meet um, a wall which is actually part of Grim's Pound, uh, which is an old medieval uh, settlement. And then from there, we can pick up the path uh, to follow back to Houndtour. But um, yeah, as you can see, I mean, uh, you know, having a bearing is really, really important in this weather because you can't see probably more than I don't know, maybe 30 meters. So um, yeah, you don't want to get lost. Okay, right, we'll uh, get the pack on and start making a move down. Coming up on the wall now, as you can see. So this uh, entrance that you can see here that I'll show you now is actually the entrance to what is essentially an old medieval town. Um, medieval settlement. So this is called Grim's Pound pretty famous place must have been quite a challenge trying to uh, actually live here all right so now we know where we are um, I'm going to take another look at the map um, make sure I'm following the right path in the right direction um, looking for some collecting points along the way so any features that I can see on the map that when I pass I can uh, sort of tick off in my mind just to know that I'm on the right uh, on the right path and then hopefully well not hopefully we will pick up the main path and that will take us all the way back uh, the way we came in last night so just going to have a look at the map now and uh, take a bearing and just make sure uh, all is okay. Okay, so I've had a look at the map. Um, it's about uh, well not about you should never say about it is 300 meters to a boundary stone following this path which uh, will then pick us up to the path um, that we want to follow in All right, well, we are back here at the corner of the woodland, which is uh, one of the points that we stopped at yesterday, last night on the way in. So um, that's always somewhat of a relief 
when you get back to a familiar point and obviously just confirms that you are where you think you are so as you may or may not be able to tell there really is very very little visibility um, out on the moor um, so yeah even though you might think you know you know where you are um, it's always a good idea just to stop every now and again sort of reconfirm your bearing if you've got an app on your phone something like OS Maps or what was View Ranger even if it's you know Google Maps just uh, take a second to give uh, give yourself some confidence that you know where you are so um, from here on in it's just heading back down this path um, I would love to have uh, you know got the drone up and shown you some more beautiful scenery of Dartmoor but um, it's like pea soup so there's no point in doing that so it might be a little bit short on interesting exciting content but um, if I see anything along the way I will of course stop otherwise I'll probably see you back at the car all right cheers guys Off the road. Come on. Choo. Did you say shoe to a cow? I don't know. Go on, go and find your mates. Stop and have a snack then. All right, we're pretty much back at the car now. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you ever so much for uh, joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting and maybe even useful. Um, I am going to be doing a lot more of uh, this type of content. Um, I still love my wildlife photography um, and filmmaking and I'm still going to do that. But uh, I've just obviously sort of expanded into other other areas if you like and other things um so yeah i'd love to uh share that journey with you and hopefully bring you along with me so thank you very much indeed um have a fantastic new year probably be after new year and christmas um, that this goes out so i hope everyone had a great christmas and uh yeah, see you on the next one.